Hello guys and welcome to a quick uh, video review for YouTube. This is a strange looking device. I'm not using my normal camera because um, the battery is currently flat. But um, I want to do a quick review of this. For those who can't see, I'm pointing at the front panel. And it says Freedom Scientific SARA, spelled S-A-R-A-C-E. What is SARA CE? Well, SARA CE is a reading machine for the blind, rather like my old reading edge that I used to have, which you have seen on a video before. Now, this is a what's known as the camera edition. Excuse the Mac in the background, but you can see at the top of this unit, we have a pole that comes up and on the top, you see what looks like a shower head, which is there, this piece here. I'll zoom up there, look, you can see the the mount for there for the that's the camera now this when not in use folds down out of the way now let's take a look at the back panel first flip this machine round on its back well not on its back but flip it round so you can see the back of it and as you can see there's a lot of connectivity on the back the camera is connected via usb um on the back there's audio jacks here which in the middle on the motherboard itself they're not used this jack here, where I've got my finger on the back there somewhere, that one, where is it? There. That's the one used for speakers, not these on the board. Now, they don't tell you about some of this stuff on the back of here. As you can see, it has all sorts of coloured ports. You've got a parallel port. That's not used. That can be used, I think. I'm not sure about the HDMI, but certainly the... The blue monitor port can be used for connecting a normal monitor. Uh, the USBs, there's four of them. There's a PS2 keyboard mouse port. That's not needed, and I guess, unless you're doing um, um, diagnostics on the thing. But as you can see, there's plenty of USBs. Um, there's also a network port, which I don't think is used either. But let's show you this thing connected up excuse fingers push the uh, it's kind of hard to do this one ended that's how you connect the camera to the back your power lead fits in on the upper um, on the uh, that port there the lower port where I've got my finger there that's the power port these finger screws that you see here, the one there and one that side, those are for holding this base plate here. This is for the uh, the camera, that's your leading edge, that's for putting your documents against the back of. Your camera then mounts on this pole and you swing it up so that it's like that. As you can see the camera is now about 15 inches from the document. That's the document bed. This circle, I think, is what it uses to show that there's no document on it. That's just a, pa a painted circle. I think it's white. I can't see colour, so I can't actually tell you. But that's the back of the unit. So let's put the power lead in. This is the power unit. And this just connects up around here at the back. So we just put that lead there, yeah. And that's the power lead in the back, and just went to show us that it's powered up. Just gives a little pop. Nothing uh, sounds worse than it really is. On the front panel, we'll talk about the front panel now because we've got power onto this thing. And I've successfully wrapped that around the camera, so I don't want to do that. So let's put that back in there. That's the power lead I'll just put. Right, so the power lead's in the back there, as you can see. The lead sticking out and that goes to the box over there this piece with a light on now the lead that's in the back of that is my iMac lead but that doesn't matter it's a standard IEC computer lead on the front of this unit you'll see some very brightly colored buttons hell yeah and also you may see where my finger is Speakers, one there, 
and one there. Now, the buttons are as follows. Start, stop scanning. Play, pause. Now, if you're listening to something, you can read it. Double arrow left. That's to take you back a paragraph. Uh, single arrow left takes you back a sentence. The selector button, which is the one in the middle. Single arrow right takes you right a sentence. Double arrow right, by default, takes you forward a paragraph. You've got your up arrow, takes you up a line. Down arrow takes you down a line. The help key... With a question mark on it, you may be able to see that. Yes, you can. That is, you press that to enter keyboard help. And this fancy looking thing here, this brown key, that one is your menu key. So if you want to go into the menus, you press that. On the front panel, we'll tilt the unit forward so we can show you that. The front panel is home to a few things. You've got your power button. You can see the speakers more clearly now, look. Left speaker logo and the right speaker um, your, your front button is home to a few things your power button here the very left hand button that with a speaker on it is a rocker you can press the left or the right hand end of that to change the volume these are assignable function keys there's four of them number one by default turns your camera light on and off number two deletes your page if you've got multi-page document you press that that will cause it to delete the last page that you scanned. Number three is the scanning mode. And number four chooses to, um, basically allows you to choose whether your machine is going to read columns or ignore them. The rabbit symbol there on that button, that's a rocker again. That changes the speed of the speech. And here is a headphone jack. So without further ado, Let's power this puppy up and show you what she's capable of. So as you can see, we've got a blank scanner bed. And we're going to push the button on the front there. On the front edge that I showed you is the power button. It comes to life. Now hopefully it should come to life. It's been having a few problems the last few days. So hopefully this will work. It's going to work. Welcome to Sarah. Serena is the current reading voice. Press the read key located directly below the spam key to begin reading. Press the help key located at the bottom right of the keypad followed by any key to learn what it does. New document. Place a page under the camera. Now the reason I was putting my finger on the keys is to show you which keys it was referring to. The read key is that one there on the bottom left. The help key is that one at the bottom right. The scan start stop scanning key is that one, the circle. The select key is the center circle with the arrows around it, the up, down, left, right for moving line up and down. Uh, I think it goes sentence left to right, uh, paragraph left to right with the double arrows. They can actually be changed to go by page but there is a handy dandy go-to feature if you should need it. Right, so let's get started. In order to use this thing, there's a couple of things you can do. You can, if, you, if it's a dark room, camera light enabled. you can turn the camera light on as you see I've just done. And you see the top of that's got lighter for those who can see. Camera light disabled. Turn it off again. That's a toggle on some machines that will just camera do literally Camera do that they just flash so you can uh, you know you can get it to uh, do whatever it needs to do so let's get this thing to read something useful or at least try to read something useful here's a book that we've got about parrots so in order to use this thing what you do you take your book and you line it up with the back of the unit like so smooth it down as best you can it gives you enough time that you can do that. Move your hand away. And wait. It makes a camera shutter noise to indicate that it is actually taking a picture. And it should start reading in a second.
recordings. If you want a wine really mimic, a recording might be the most effective way to accomplish that objective. I believe, however, that the potential for damage is greater than the perceived benefits. Having to listen to the same 20 seconds of material over and over can stress the bird and contribute to screaming, unexplained aggression, felt mutilation, or intellectual withdrawal. In contrast, a bird taught to use words in context is more likely to use them at appropriate times in appropriate situations. Can you imagine being taught to make sounds that don't mean anything? I believe that using words the bird can say to represent their meaning enhances and stimulates the bird's motivation to speak. Don't talk dirty, responsible owners understand that their parrots will outlive them and they avoid teaching profanity. A bird. So there you go, that, that's how it reads. It may not have got that perfectly. The little chime that you heard is when I removed the document from under the camera. That basically tells it that it's going to read another page. Now this machine offers various functions by, by way of the menus, which are accessed by this button here. File. Sub -menu. We've got the file menu. To access you use the down and up arrows here in the centre. You can go to go to voice settings. Voice settings. We can change the voice. We can even change the language. This thing has, I think it's 18 different languages. Now, Freedom Scientific on their documentation of this machine state that Desara has a 160 gig hard disk. It actually does not. It comes with 32 gig of flash memory. Whether that's just for the UK, I'm not sure, but this version I have here has got 32 gig of flash memory. So take it with a pinch of salt when the C got 160 gig storage because you actually, at least I don't have on this one. And this is a new machine that's been, that come out last year and I'll show you how I found that information out. Not so much the storage, but how I know it's a new machine because it's... Um, Scanning settings, visual settings. We go to about. Advanced, update Sarah. Settings wizard, about Sarah. Press, so in order to access, so I've gone to about Sarah, we'll press the right arrow. Help. Copy right version information. Press version information. You to select it, press the round select button. About Sarah. Sarah TN version 10.2.1030. Okay, button. So that's how, um, that's 10 point, 10 point. Version information. Let's go back to that again. About Sarah. Seratien version 10.2.1030. 10.2.1030. So it's a fairly new version. To find out exactly how, when this came out, copyright information. We've got a copyright information and press select. About Sarah. Copyright 2013. By Freedom Scientific BLV Group LLC. So it's a 2013 Seratien model. Copyright information. So in order to come out of this, we just press the menu button again. Leaving menus. The menus on this offer a fair amount of stuff. Uh, we can do everything from playing audio CDs to uh, listening to music on a USB pen drive. Uh, I'm not going to do that here, but it can be done. Uh, so it's a very flexible machine. I absolutely love this thing. It's brilliant. Um, it really is. Um, this is going to be my next video up, I think. So, uh, yeah, the Sarah. Now, there are two versions of this. In the UK, though, £1,450, I believe, from Sight and Sound. That's www.sightandsound. That's all one word. .co.uk. Um, there are two versions. This is the camera edition, hence the CE on the front. Or you can get the scanner edition, which was the first SARA that came out. SARA, S A R A, as it is written on the front, stands for Scanning and Reading Appliance. It is what it says. It's an appliance. It's a plug-in device. You don't have to use a computer. You don't have to know about a computer in order to use this wonderful piece of equipment. So, without further ado, let's shut it down. And to do that, you press the power button and it will it will do the following. Press the power button again to power down the Sarah unit. Press the down arrow to put the Sarah unit to sleep. Press any other key to cancel. So cancel press the power button, button. again. There she goes. So there's the Sarah. Hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll speak to you all very soon.